Tractor trailers keep getting stuck in Wingate right on the railroad tracks. It's creating a dangerous situation for drivers and holding up traffic for the road. We've been following this problem for months now, and now Channel 9's Gina Esposito found out what is standing in the way of this being repaired for good. I want to show you the problem here is this area is raises so high that tractor trailers sometimes have a difficult time getting by. They bounce like this one. The ones that are loaded, those are the ones that keep getting stuck. When that train whistle blows every day, we I think, you know, is, is the day going to be the day? Uh, so, I mean, it's, it's always on our mind. Town manager of Wingate, Brad Sellers, worries about a train derailment right in front of City Hall and Wingate University. In April, I showed you these examples of loaded tractor trailers caught on the railroad tracks on Main Street. So far, it's happened 10 times since the opening of the Monroe Expressway last November, including two just last week. We've had two significant diesel fuel spills that ran down the road that we had to actually call in assistance with hazmat cleanup. The train uh, the second day was between here and Forest Hills. So it was less than a mile before he got stopped. Since the expressway opened, GPS devices are directing drivers onto Main Street. The town has been pushing to get NCDOT and CSX to come up with a solution. In May, Seller says CSX would fix it, but only if this crossing near the fire department closed. It would significantly impact the fire department. With that not being an option, Union County Senator Todd Johnson stepped in. The state, town, and university came up with the $130,000 needed to lower the grade of that railroad crossing. We went from $130,000 to over a million dollars, which kind of stopped our progress in its tracks. When I went through NCDOT's new cost breakdown, it shows a half a million alone will go to the new railroad crossing arms. NCDOT tells me they're still trying to secure funding. In the meantime, they've added these signs along the Monroe Expressway to warn big truckers. In Winget, I'm Gina Esposito, Channel 9 Eyewitness News.